Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny Time, Tutors Funny Channel. Today I am going to teach about the discount calculation part. This is very important part of the inventory management system, so that I have get into the only the discount calculation part. So if I enter there, you can see these are the product table. You can see here this is a product table. Uh, we already saw the, the same table, we have to show the profit calculation part. So the same thing you have to apply for the uh, uh, discount par, uh, calculation part as well. Here this is the product name, retail price, sell price, quantity, these are the discount to have provided. Okay. Uh, Sony TV have provided 10, uh, Samsung TV have provided 5, Android TV have provided 15 percentage discount. This is a percentage. Okay. Right. Now if I enter the product ID 1, click find button. The price would be displayed, the retail price, the sorry, sale price is this one, 45,000. What is the quantity we have? We have to calculate the 100 quantity. It will be calculated the discount of 10%. Okay, and the final total will be displayed here. Right, the same thing to is the relevant product should be the Samsung TV. The price would be the 43,000, 5% discount. 5% discount amount will be calculated and display the total over here. Uh, after that, the same thing as a third one as an Android TV, you can see the discount amount which will be calculated for that. This, it will be calculated uh, the all the quantity, not only one product. Android TV, what, how many quantity have? 100, 100 quantity it take to uh, calculate the discount as a 50% and display the total bill. The simple stuff. So let's go to the code section, right? So I no need to uh, make the design and also so already I know you already know how to make the design. So if you want to do it, I have to do it again. File, new project, Java, Java application, click next. If you click main class, you have to uncheck it. You have to do it as a product details. Product details, like product details, the it will be displayed successfully. Right click, I'm going to click new, a frame form, here yeah, product, frame fresh uh, product, the empty form. Now here, into the size little bit. Here yeah, I'm going to drag one label. The label I'm going to name it as product details. Select this one again properties. Font have to with bold 48 or 36. Foreground as select as red. Perfect. After that, we have to select the lay, uh, panel. Right click properties, no border, bevel border, click OK, close it. Uh, here we have to write product ID. Select this one properties. Have to ball with 18. Click OK. Drag it one text field over here. Perfect. This one properties. Click on the font bold with 18. Right click edit text backspace to remove the action. Select again. TXT PID. After that, we have another fields, price, discount, and total. So to display here like this, is simple, attractive purpose. So fine, simple one, you have to find. Select this one, right click, 
bold width 18 click ok after that select the label sorry we no need this one control feed copy control feed paste below this one should be price discount price the same thing control feed copy control feed paste here Copy, 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 copy. This one should be discount. Copy, copy, copy. This one should be the total. Copy control V to this one should be the total. Twenty-four perfect. Right now, what I'm going to do is. Uh, Now, this one should be TXT product ID, TXT price. This one should be TXT this. This one should be TXT talk. Perfect. Now, let's go to the uh, Let's go to the source. Now here, first, what you are going to do is go to the design. This is your product. I am going to add the MySQL uh, MySQL connector. So right click, add the R folder. This connector I will be put it into the libraries folder. Then only you will be able to connect the database, right? So this product database I'm going to connect it the same code connectivity code I'll put it to my it's all the source code don't worry I'll be put into my website you will be able to get there right don't worry about that right first here this all the things I just copy it paste it over here the source paste it over here and I'll be explaining don't worry first you have to import the namespace it's all no, all known here first you have to import the namespace import java dot sql script right it will be this names this namespace consists of all the sql classes connection prepare statement pst1 which we have to uh, create the prepare statement object pst connection of it con right first we have to accept the database connection so we have to register the mysql driver this mysql connector already did it so we have to ask drive uh, register driver your database locate on the local host, which name is inventory. You can see here, see any problem, right? This user credential of MySQL, username is root, password is that, right? If there is problem with the class not a, class mean the MySQL connector is not put, put, put this one, this class is not available, it show the, it, the error shows us a not, class not exception. Is there any problem with the SQL statement? The, this catch will be displayed as a SQL exception error. Right, this both error I have attached over here. Right, that's it. After that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate the another stuff is a discount calculation part. So this code. I'm going to write this code in order to calculate discount calculate part. Find the find button. Let's import the uh, TXP ID, product ID. Mm, what's the ID? We have to get it here. TXP ID. Thank 
как price discount txt dot now here first what is the value I type on this text box it will be assigned the variable id so it will convert integer passing this id will be assigned to this field capacitor you have to write the query in order to calculate the discount this is simple code query you have to write and to calculate the discount right so first we have to sell price discount from the sum cost round first sell price we have to into quantity minus it sell price into to quantity divide by 100 into discount 2 right your discount is 2 it will be concentrated as a decimal value right as 2 as decimal this is the point you have to type decimal point this all the source code we know this this query we no need to uh, uh, we don't need to uh, put the text boxes and calculator in SQL we have to write the mathematical calculation like this that's why we have to put it the SQL statement some cast round used to calculate the this much of correct calculation okay discount calculation it's very simple if it is a profit calculation also we have to use use the SQL statement SQL statement is very easy to calculate this all the stuff okay this calculation stuff if you are to, going to calculate this all the stuff into the uh, put into the uh, uh, text box and calculator it takes uh, too much of time to complete it's very complicated if you are do like this very simple easy to do the program that's why i take this one right it calculated and and we have to what is the id you are coming getting here yeah but the id you are typing on here it passes the prepare statement it goes to the id here and getting the values statement.com result set if this is there it will be display the value here. That is the things will display. Let's do the let's do it. Yeah. One. Why it's not working? Some problem. Null point exceptions where ah the problem is this SQL connection classes this connection we didn't call into the constructor then only it will be working okay that the ui also i didn't mention as metal 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 also i haven't put it the metal okay it's working two three it's working perfect okay I hope you guys understood things well. If you have any doubt, you can ask me in time. Thank you for watching.